Yo, YouTube fam, what is going on? It is your boy Dylan Flex. Yes, guys, we back at it again with another video. I missed you all. First and foremost, before we even start the video, guys, I hope everyone's staying safe, staying healthy, spending time with their loved ones. I know a lot of places are letting people go back to their normal life, well, the new normal, so I hope everyone is staying safe. I wanted to hop on here, guys, and talk to you about a couple things. Yes, reselling. I get probably the most DMs about how do I start reselling, what are some reselling tips, help me with reselling, what do I sell, what do I do? I'm gonna answer and tell you guys a couple questions now just to help people. You know, I see most of the people really just show buyouts of shoes and I think that's awesome, I love that. I have shoes over here that I'm gonna show you guys that we bought out. But that doesn't really help beginner resellers or it really doesn't help resellers at all, right? It kinda just shows that you have money to buy shoes. It doesn't really help and show how you got the money, what do you do with the money, how does it start? Kinda why I started making YouTube videos in the beginning too. I wanted to be able to help people and I wanna be able to help resellers and help people make money selling shoes. I know we all have such a passion and we love doing this so much, but what if you could turn your passion into a job, into a lifestyle, into making money, and that's why I'm here. But before we even start the video, guys, I wanted to get into, yes, 1994 Jordan 1 breads. Guys, if you're watching The Last Dance, you see some of these prices going up crazy. I have a 1994 Jordan 1 bread. I have a 2013 Jordan 1 bread. I have a 2016 Jordan 1 bread. Guys, just a heads up and just to help you guys right now, if you see the prices for Chicago's Jordan 1's, there's even other colorways like OG stuff. I just sold a pair of OG breads, like the first ones. Guys, stuff like this is selling for so much. Yes, it's probably due to the documentary. If you guys haven't seen The Last Dance, I don't know, maybe you're under a rock. I don't know what the deal is, but make sure you guys watch The Last Dance. I think it's on episode eight. I'm on seven right now. I was just watching, so I have one more to catch up on to get there. Uh, they're gonna release two more on Sunday. So this is why the prices have been skyrocketing, guys, for Jordan. So if you're like, yo, why are all my Jordans selling? I see my stock X, my GOAT, all these stuff that would never sell previously are selling now. Yes, guys. If it were me, and I am, I would dump my Jordans right now. Yes, I know, should I wait? Would it go up? I think the prices now, depending on the shoe, are super high. Like I said, guys, I just sold. Speaking about buying Jordans, literally. People selling right now. Hey guys. Shout out to the homie Gene, guys. Ugh, ugh, Gene with the drip, go back to that, Gene. Ugh, Gene got the drip real quick, okay. Okay. I literally just sold this Jordan 1 1994 bread for $700. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I right now would dump all of the Jordans. This is just a personal opinion though. Yes, I know a lot of you people like to collect and a lot of people are like, yo, why didn't you just collect this? Why didn't you just save this? Guys, the money is too good and one of the first tips and rules I always give is never get high on your own supply. But we're gonna get into that. I just wanted to show you some of the Jordans that I have that I've been selling. It's also cool to look at some history of the Jordans and stuff too, especially after watching the documentary. But I wanted to give you guys some tips and tricks now. And yes, I've given to you on other videos, but I feel like it's always good to hear and to refresh. You know, I'm listening to so many different like motivational speakers and so many different people like Grant Cardone and all these people. And I joke one of the last videos about, yeah, you know, I don't sound like Grant Cardone and this and that. It's funny because a lot of these people tell you that you need to be motivated, and you need to be strong and you need to not be average. Guys, we know that of course, right? But what is the actual blueprint? What are some of the actual steps? What is the actual process, right? To becoming successful, right? I have the blueprint to be successful when it comes to selling shoes. I came from nothing when it came to shoes. I never had a dad or a mom that owned a shoe store that helped me, that did this. This is literally from the mud when it came to reselling shoes, right? So this is tips that I have that can really help you. It's not just like, man, I was given money and this is how you do it. 
No, 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 no. This is different. You guys know I've been having a lot of questions too. How is the shoe market during the quarantine? Are you still selling? Are you still buying? What are you doing? You know, life's crazy right now, like I said. The new normal is nuts, right? My personal opinion is if you have the right product and you have the right price, and you guys can see on my Instagram, Capital Vegas, we have literally the most consistent steals, guys. No one has consistent steals like us. Yes, people throw up some steals, but they're not consistent steals like we have. If you have that, you're always gonna be able to push through inventory, right? It doesn't matter what it is. If you have the right product and you have the right prices for the product, guys, don't hit people over the head on some of these prices, right? Somebody literally just called and asked me, they said, I want to get an e-com. What do you do? How do you get product? How does this work? I told him, guys, the easiest way that I get product is I'm fair with my prices. He's like, oh, you must be killing it with this quarantine, guys. You, you just must be, Dylan, you must be just raping these people on prices. No, it's not like that. The more fair you are to the person, the more they'll come back. It's really about building relationships. Guys, I said this so many times. Is it really worth your 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars of profit for the shoe to beat the person over the head and have them never return, right? If you can make the person happy and you can make some money, it's literally a win-win. This is what I tell you guys about mystery boxes too, right? Mystery boxes, 20 to 25% profit, right? Return on your money. If you can make the person happy, give them product, and you can make a little bit too, you both win, you eat, guys. This is, one of the, this is one of those things that people don't understand. They literally want to get rich off one shoe. And I never understood that. Guys, for me personally, move in volume. If you move in volume like this, you're going to be able to make money and you're going to be in it for the long term, the long run, right? Another big and quick tip, guys, make sure you're doing bulk, right? So what is bulk? It means you're buying multiple shoes, right, in bulk. So that's new, that's used. I know a lot of people are like, I wanna stay away from used shoes, right? I, I don't think I wanna do that. I can't sell them on StockX, right? Guys, make your own website, make your own Instagram, sell used. I think you can get prices better for use too. Yes, I know people want dead stock shoes, brand new shoes. You should do both. You should sell on all places as well too. Guys, sell on your GOAT, sell on your StockX, sell on your website, sell on your Instagram, guys. Do a little bit of all. I see people like, I can't sell, I don't know what to do. You're not trying hard enough. That's the facts. I can't buy any shoes, you're not trying hard enough. Are you searching on OfferUp? Are you searching on Facebook? Are you posting every single day that you wanna buy shoes? If you're not doing this stuff, guys, then it's not a surprise where you're not being able to sell or to buy. You have to be consistent. Consistency is key. That goes with everything, whether it's working out, whether it's business, whether it's buying shoes. I remember, it's so funny, I remember I was only able to buy a couple shoes when I first started, right? So I started off with a very, very little bit of money. It was nothing. I kept flipping, kept flipping, reinvesting in my business, reinvesting in my business. I bought personal pairs, but I wasn't crazy, right? If I saw a great steal, I knew the profit margins were better than me wearing it. Yes, I like to wear the used shoes. I always go and I wear some of the used shoes, yes. But I don't get high on my own supply, right? Like I was saying earlier. Make sure you sell it, the profit margins. Flip that shoe, reinvest. Guys, the money really does nothing in your bank, right? That interest is not really doing anything. If you invest into shoes, this is what I do at least, or sports cards or whatever it is, but this is reselling sneakers. If you invest in shoes, guys, the money's gonna keep going and going, and all of a sudden you're like, my bankroll's crazy. I went from $100 to $500 to $1,000. Now you're spending $20,000 on buyouts like it's nothing, right? That's what you have to do. That's what it takes. So one of the biggest questions I get asked is what inventory should I buy, right, for a beginner? So if you're a beginner reseller, I think you should buy what's hype and what's new. Why? That always sells. I would take a lower cut in my margins because I know it's a guaranteed sell, right? So the Jordan ones that just came out, I would pay a little more because I know it's gonna be a guaranteed sell. People want it. I would buy stuff that's new, I would buy stuff that's hype, and I would buy stuff that I know is going to move and I know it's gonna continue to sell. Now as you get a little more advanced with reselling too, you can get away with buying certain things. Sizes that normally wouldn't sell, but if it's at a right price, everything sells. That's what I wanna to stress to you guys. It doesn't matter the size, it doesn't really matter the shoe, right? If it's the right price, it's going to sell. It doesn't matter if you're in a pandemic, wherever you are, if you're not able to sell, it's simply because of your prices and you need to readjust and recheck what you guys are doing price-wise. How do I get the inventory though, Dylan? 
Guys, if you're really struggling with inventory and you're doing all the stuff I previously said as well and it's still not working, Guys, personally send me a DM. I'll send you a mystery box. We can do mystery boxes. I literally just sold two mystery boxes here now. All sizes, it's easy money. It's 20 to 25% profit. Guys, it says on capital what the profit is and it shows all sizes. It's brand new, it's used. It's the perfect way to begin and to start reselling or if you simply just want more inventory, especially during the pandemic. So this is just some of the questions that I wanted to answer from you guys. I get questions literally every single day. Hey, will you help me, Dylan? Will you? I wanna resell, this is what I wanna do. Guys, I have no problem helping you guys. If you wanna shoot me a DM, my personal Instagram is Dylan Flex. If you wanna do it sneaker related, guys, make sure you guys hit me up on Capital Vegas. I'm always answering DMs there. I'm on TikTok too now, guys, Dylan Flex. We're having some fun with that. I just wanted to share and to show you guys some of the tips and tricks. I know it wasn't a long video. I'll get back. If you guys have any more questions, I'll make sure to answer them in your DM or we'll do a Q&A on here. I just wanted to check in with you guys. I wanted to give you not only some motivation, but I wanted to help you and tell you, you guys can do this if this is your dream, right? And it's not just selling shoes. If you guys want to do this though, you can do it, keep going, be consistent. I remember people telling me guys back in the day that this was a joke, don't do this, this is a hobby, sneakers doesn't make you money. I even had my neighbor yesterday telling me, I think selling shoes is a front, right, for you? And I said, what do you mean? It's like, I went on your website, you think people actually spend this much on shoes and they do this? It's funny guys, don't let the uneducated steer you in the wrong direction, guys, right? Especially with all the stuff that's going on in the world. Don't let negative people bring you down, guys, especially when it's your passion, right? This isn't a preach, I just wanted to kind of express this. This was kind of weighing heavy on my heart and I wanted just to express this to you guys too because I get so much messages about reselling and shoes and Guys, this is my passion too, and they told me that I couldn't do it, you know? So keep grinding, keep doing it, keep showing love, man. Keep being positive. I love you guys, man, I can't stress it enough. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you want me to do more of these videos, guys, leave a comment. Make sure you guys check out shopdillonflex.com. Make sure you guys check out Capital. I have the best steals, hands down.